Systems at TFNN, educating investors. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got markets escalating to negative territory. You're looking at an S&P negative by four tenths percent. We're right near session lows right now at 39.71. NASDAQ 100, you're trading negative 43 points, 12,315. The Dow off 130 points. All the markets pretty positive this morning. You look at the Dow, we've given up more than 300 points from where you were just this morning. Russell, negative by nine points, 1846. Bitcoin this morning, we were above 20,000 right now this afternoon, trading 19,815. And how about the action in crude continuing volatility this morning? We make a low of 88.27. You get as high as 91.50. We're back right near $90 in crude. Gold contract, we got dollar strength this morning, excuse me, this afternoon, today. Gold contract, negative $11, trading at $17.24, and we jump to notes and bonds. The 10-year right now, negative by three ticks. We were as low as one sixteen twenty two. You talk about yields, 3.12%, 3.12%. The yield on the 10-year, we jump over to the volatility index, 25.91 is this market slipping a little bit negative territory. The lows of yesterday, 39.64, within about 10 points of that price level, 39.72. S&Ps, we were as high as 4,015 just after the open. So you're talking about more than a full percent to the downside from intraday highs set just before 10 a.m. this morning. What we have fundamentally going on, you got ADP numbers this morning. That number, 132,000 jobs added in August. We get non-farm payrolls Friday at 8.30 a.m. Then we're gone for the long weekend. We come back September 6th. A week from then, we get CPI September 13th for the month of August. And then we got a Fed meeting September 20th as well. Stay tuned, folks. We got Tom O'Brien coming up live at 3 o'clock. Replay this hour for two. Tom, he'll be live at 3 o'clock. Stay tuned, folks. S&P is negative by 14. We'll be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having